Mathematical scale solves the size problem, but getting rid of distortion is another mathematical challenge. So here's the problem, what we uh, professional cartographers refer to as the orange peel problem. You want to map what's on the outside of it onto a piece of flat paper. If you take the skin of the earth off it and put it down on the ground, it's not flat. It isn't a flat thing. I mean, as much as you try to flatten it, it, it uh, kind of sticks up. And this is the problem that all cartographers have to deal with, all people who make maps. It's a basic geometry problem. Over thousands of years, cartographers have devised clever formulas that describe how points from one surface can be transferred to another. Some project these points onto a cylinder. Others project them on a cone. Still others project points directly to the plane. But there's no perfect way to flatten the Earth. Every projection has some distortion. A famous example is a map made by Gerardus Mercator in 1569. Any line drawn across it would show a constant compass direction, and for centuries, sailors used it to chart courses around the world. Mercator's become synonymous with map. Mercator equals map. Most schoolrooms had Mercator projections in them. People even knew the name Mercator. I mean, he was a famous person. An example of the uh, huge distortion on Mercator maps is shown here with Greenland. Uh, Greenland is actually the size of Mexico. And so you can see how enormous it's got here because of the distortion of the particular projection that was never meant to show the relative sizes of the countries, was meant as a navigational tool. There are all sorts of maps, some good, some bad, some quirky. But all of these start from somebody measuring something. The way you represent that measurement, that mathematical measurement, uh, can take so many different forms that the scope of the word map is enormous.